Well, hello there. How are you doing? Welcome to the last week of our Press Play series. You know, we've learned so much together over the past few weeks, and we've looked at what real confidence looks like and how to get it. You can have confidence in God. We've seen through our stories and Bible passages that God is almighty, all powerful, and He has a plan for your life. And yes, you can be confident because of who God says you are. Do you remember when God called Gideon a mighty warrior even though he was super scared? And we know that Jesus died on the cross so that we can have a relationship with God and even be called his children. Most importantly, God says that you are loved by him. And that's what we want you to know today. Let's say our memory verse together one last time. Jeremiah 17, 7 says, But blessed are those who trust in the Lord, and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. Isn't it so amazing when you feel loved, when someone says they love you? And that's certainly one of the keys to having true confidence, knowing we're loved by God. The point of today is to learn just how much God loves us. So let's press play on the Bible story. Today, we're discovering a really important truth from the Bible. And if you truly believe it, it'll give you exactly the kind of confidence we've been talking about in this series. Last week, we looked at a letter that Paul wrote to the church in Ephesus, which is actually Turkey today. Well, friends, if you haven't guessed it already, Paul was a man who wrote quite a lot of letters. And Paul's letters were written to different churches to encourage them and give them some important advice on following Jesus. You know, he couldn't just pick up the phone or WhatsApp them like we can today. Paul had to write down what he wanted to say. And then he had to get someone to take the letter and sometimes a really long way and deliver it. Many of these letters are in the Bible for us to read. And today we're looking at another letter that Paul wrote, this time to the churches and Jesus followers in Rome. That's why in the Bible, the letter is called Romans. And this church really needed to hear some of the basics of following Jesus. And Paul told them something amazing. This is Romans 8, 38 to 39, and here's what it says. And I am convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries for tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Did you hear that? Nothing can keep us apart from God's love. I really like this scripture. It's one of my favorites. This is encouraging because life doesn't always go the way we planned. Bad things can happen when we're not expecting it. Sometimes life doesn't make sense at all. But at other times, we make bad choices and life gets even more difficult when we do bad things, like when we sin. Like uh, if you borrow something from your older brother or sister without asking, and then you accidentally break it, oops. What about if your brother or sister then asks you if you broke that thing that you borrowed and you lie about it and you blame someone else? Or, you know, if you get angry one time and you push your friend, whoosh, or maybe you heard some other kid saying something mean about someone and everyone else is laughing so you laugh too. Then you feel bad about it. Unfortunately, there are a lot of wrong things a person can do if they're not careful. Can you think of some others? I know I can. Like, uh, I lost my temper. I said mean things. I got jealous. I stole. I said bad words. I was rude. I was selfish. I was unkind and other things. It's tough to see with all these boxes up here, isn't it? When we've done something we know is wrong, we feel pretty bad about ourselves, don't we? We also feel bad about ourselves when this happens, when we feel like we failed. We might even feel like, I'm not good enough. Well, my friends, here is the truth. None of us are really good enough. When we make mistakes, or even when something bad happens to us, it can feel like there's a big wall between us and God. And because of all these things, we might feel like, hey, God won't love us. 
we might think that these things will keep us separated from God. But you know what? That's simply not true. Sometimes we think it's true because that's how we treat other people or how other people treat us. Maybe when your friends are upset, they don't talk to you for a long time. <laughs> so now maybe you think God is like that. Or maybe other people in your life, when you make a mistake, they get very cross with you, raise their voice and shout at you and make you feel bad. Maybe they said that you are bad. But God's not like that at all. Nothing can stop God from loving us, even when we make mistakes. Do you remember what Paul wrote in his letter in Romans 8.39? He said, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love that God has for us that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. What can separate us from God's love? Nothing. Why? Because of what Jesus has done. You see, God sent Jesus to be our savior and Jesus died on the cross and paid the price for everything we've done wrong and everything we might do wrong in the future. Because of Jesus, we can be forgiven for our sins. Do you know what God's love does? God's love breaks through any of the wrong things we've done. It breaks through any bad things that might have happened to us breaks through any of the feelings we might have that we're not good enough and nothing can separate us from God's love. Whoa. Nothing can get in the way of God's love. Nothing you do will stop God from loving you. We know for sure that that's true because God showed his love for us when he sent Jesus, his only son, to die on the cross for our sins. This is why we can have true confidence. And our bottom line for this week is this. God loves you no matter what. And you can be confident because you know that nothing you do, nothing that ever happens in your life, none of it could ever keep you apart from God's love. If you feel like there's something keeping you from God, like you feel like there's something you've done that's really bad, why don't you tell God about it today? He forgives you and nothing can stop him from loving you. Say it with me. Nothing can stop God from loving you. Absolutely nothing. Let's pray and thank God together. God, thank you. Thank you for your amazing love. Please forgive us for when we've made mistakes. Thank you that your love is so big that nothing we do can ever keep us apart from you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Well, friends, God loves you in the good times and in the bad times. He loves you when you feel alone or when things don't go the way you expect. Nothing can separate you from his love. You can rely on that. You can trust God no matter what. And as we go to worship together now, why don't you take a minute and think about how much God loves you and what Jesus did for you to break down that wall and then worship God for that. Knowing how loved you are will truly give you confidence. Let's worship. I'm not a warrior. I'm too afraid to lose. I feel a qualified for what you're calling me to. My Lord, with your strength, I've got no excuse. Cause broken people are exactly who you use. So give me faith like Dio in the lion's head. Give me hope like Moses in the wilderness. Give me a heart like David, Lord, be my defense, so I can face my giants with confidence. You took a shepherd boy and made him a king, so I'm gonna trust you and give you everything. I'll be a conqueror, cause you fight for me. Champion, claiming your victory. So give me faith to lie down in the lion's den. Give me hope like Moses in the wilderness. Give me a heart like David. Lord, be my defense. 
So I can face my giants with confidence. I'm gonna sing and shout and shake the wall. I won't stop until I see them fall. I'm gonna stand up, step out when you call. Jesus, Jesus, I'm gonna sing and shout and shake the wall. I won't stop until I see them fall. I'm gonna stand up, step out when you call. Jesus, so give me faith like Daniel in the lion's den. Give me hope like Moses in the wilderness. Give me a heart like David, not be my defense. So I can face my giants with confidence. Give me faith like Daniel in the lion's den. Give me hope like Moses in the wilderness. Give me a heart not be my defense so I can face my giants with confidence I'll face my giants with confidence